time. And I want to bring everyone in here now because let's talk about this second wave. It's terrifying. With COVID cases rising again across the country, do you feel from what you have seen that Canadians are taking the proper safety precautions? Why or why not? And I'm going to start with you, Michael. I do. You know, I actually see two sides of the coin a lot when I'm shopping. For sure, everybody, all the salespeople, everybody in the stores are wearing the mask. And when I'm going to people's homes, we're always wearing masks, even the trades that I put in there. So we're wearing masks as well. I just find that when it's socializing, I think when people are getting together to socialize, that's when we get a little bit more lackadaisical. So I've, I've seen groups of, large groups of people, whether it's downtown, whether it's outside, not really social distancing and wearing masks. So I think it's kind of hard, but I think in our everyday lives, it's becoming more and more normal. I agree with you there. I see a lot of mask wearing happening in the general public, but when it comes to the socializing, um, we've already been told the bubbles are over, which is going to be a really tough pill for people to swallow. Mm -hmm. It's back to your house now and whoever's in that house with you. Yeah. Um, and that's it. So you still got to be you still got to be really careful. I'm going to go to Trev now. Trev, what do you think? Are Canadians following uh, the precautions or not so much? We're quite compliant and we're quite friendly in terms of what we understand needs to be done. I think we can always do more and do better. The one fun thing, if you think about what it's come to, is I think that the mask now has become the new cell phone accessory. You know how we used to go compete and show everyone our amazing cell phone cases? <laughs> now it's, look at my mask and look at the chain that holds my mask. So. We found a way to sort of, um, you know, fashionize our, uh, our, 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 our pandemic and, and, and accessories. That's right. Mask it up, but make it fashion. Sarah, what do you think? <laughs> Are we taking precautions or not so much? Oh, well, first of all, I want to say I just bought some winter masks, which Jamie thought was ridiculous, but it is a thing. It's fashion. You want, you know, the darker patterns for the winter. Uh, do I think everyone's following the rules? I appreciate all the mask wearing when I see when I'm going out shopping and stuff. Um, my issue, and I've been very vocal about this on social media, is uh, people sharing non-compliance on social media. You know, posting gr big group photos, posting weekends away, you know, arm around all of these people. And I just think that we have to be really responsible with what we're sharing and what we're supporting and what we're promoting for the safety of other people. I had one woman uh, reach out to me and she said, Tracy, I noticed what you're doing with your with your family and you're a tight family, but you're still staying away from them because I am not trying to be responsible for giving my parents COVID. That would be awful. I look at the people mm -hmm. that are going away and I look at those big group photos and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so jealous. <laughs> I want to be in a big group photo. Like I want to hang out with a ton of people, but it's just not the time, right?